Hello, everyone, and welcome to Connect to Create. My name is Kathy Andes with Simply Cards by Kathy. And today is Thursday, the 26th of January, 2023. And I'm excited to be here with you today to share a really easy technique that's so much fun and adds so much to your card. It is called the faux porcelain technique. So if you are new to Connect to Create, welcome. Connect to Create is a collaboration between myself and a very dear friend and another Stampin' Up! demonstrator, Pat Fairless from Fairless Stampin' Flare. And each week we alternate to bring you a different technique or tips and tricks to using your paper crafting and card making. So I hope that you enjoy the video. If you do, please give us a thumbs up. Feel free to share the video. It helps us to grow our channels. And I'm excited to get started. So I am going to flip the camera over to my desktop. And there we go. So hopefully you can see and hear me well. Um, normally, I don't show you the cards ahead of time. And I really can't decide if I want to. Um, but the full porcelain technique, you need to use a shiny or glossy paper. So the best paper to use is either um, everyday photo paper, the um, glossy photo paper. Mine, um, I'm showing you, I ordered off Amazon. It comes in eight by eight, um, eight by eight, 11, eight and a half by 11 sheets. Let me pull this out for you. And, um, I think I got 25 sheets for $12. So it doesn't have to be anything special, but it does have to be the glossy. And what I do is I just take and cut them in half and cut them in a half again, so that I end up with uh, four pieces that are four and a quarter by five and a half. And then once I decide what size layer I'm gonna use, I can cut them down um, from there before I get started. So this is a great paper to use. Um, another one to use is a Stampin' Ups, um, oh my gosh pearlescent paper and hopefully you can see that you can see it's quite glossy because of the glare coming off of it on the camera um, but the pearlescent paper is in our annual catalog on page 139 you get two 12 by 12 sheets and I think it costs four dollars so these are the two that I found work best now I did try it on regular cardstock there's no a porcelain look to it and I even tried it with our shimmery white and I didn't like that either so these are the two that are best to use your photo paper glossy photo paper or the pearlescent paper by Stampin' Up and I'm going to do one of each um, for you with this now all you need for this technique is this paper and you need a um, embossing folder and the first one I'm going to use is the brick and mortar one it's a 3d embossing folder and I'm going to use it with Cajun craze and I am going to use my photo paper so what we're going to do is you're going to open up your folder and you're going to ink up the debossed side that's the side with the Stampin' Up! logo on it. And I'm actually going to grab a sheet of uh, paper. Let me just grab that here. Because this can get kind of messy. So I want to be able to not get it on anything else. I'm going to open up my stamp pad. And hopefully you can see this okay and simply ink up the whole pad. So you're just gonna keep inking. You wanna get the whole thing covered. I go top to bottom. And that looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna close this up and let me show you, I'm gonna pick this up for you to see. 
Now, it doesn't cover evenly everywhere. Hopefully you can see that some in some of the brick areas, the inside of the bricks even picked up some of the ink. And I'm okay with that because bricks have different colors and um, textures to them. So now we're going to take our photo paper and I'm going to, let's see which way I want to lay this down. I want it to, uh, to be a portrait. So I'm gonna lay it right along that black line here and simply close it up and I'm gonna pick it up. So there's our photo paper. Now, um, the brick and mortar is a 3D. So I'm gonna bring in my cut and emboss machine. And I know it's kind of big and close, but because it's a 3D, we're gonna use plate number one and plate number four. So I want to um, get this in here. Now, when you are using your embossing folders, you want to run the um, folded edge through first. If you reverse it and run it the other way, you run the risk of cracking your embossing folders. And I speak from experience because I've done that. So we're just going to run this through. And I'm going to move this out of the way. Set that down. And let's take this out. Now, I'm going to set this aside. This rinses off with plain water. So all you have to do is take it to the sink, run water over it, and it is perfectly clean. Dry it, and you're ready to go. Um, so what I'm going to do with this is um, I'm going to gently dry it. Now, you can let this air dry, and it's going to take a little bit, so just be patient. Or you can pull out your heat tool and put it on number one. You have two settings. You have setting number one for something like drying ink, and you have setting number two um, for using your embossing um, powders for heat embossing. So I'm going to crank this up on one. I apologize for the noise, and I'm just going to lightly go over it. I just want to make sure my ink is dry. This is just such a, a beautiful technique. I'm anxious to share the cards with you. So I stay up about six inches above and I just lightly go over it to make sure it's dry. Now I'm going to take just a tissue and I'm going to just gently blot it to pick up any of the ink. And you can see it's picking up some that might be left over. So here is our faux porcelain of our brick and mortar. And hopefully you can see that gloss. Isn't that pretty? So that's this one. Now I'm going to show you another one using the pearlescent paper. So let's set this off to the side. And the next one I'm going to show you is we're using pale papaya with the pearlescent paper and the embossing folder we're going to use is pretty flowers. Now this is not a 3D embossing folder but it doesn't matter for this technique whether it is or isn't. Um, I just want to show you the difference in the two papers. So again we're going to open this up and we're using pale papaya and I'm just going to ink this up well. This one's a little bit harder to see because it is um, a lighter ink, but it is so pretty. And I just want to make sure that I get a good coverage. That looks pretty good to me. I'm going to close this up and again we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to lay this along the line. I use that as my guide that I know it's straight and close it up. Now this one, because it is not 3D, 
we're going to use plate number one and both of the plate, the number three plates. So let's get those on in here. And we're going to bring our cut and emboss machine back in and we're going to run this through. You're going to hear a click. Well, maybe not. And we're going to bring our embossing folder back in. And I think this one is gorgeous. So again i'm going to um heat emboss it and i'm going to bring you in a little bit closer here now that the cut and emboss machine is gone that looks pretty good and we're just going to dry this again your setting is number one on your heat gun And I just move it around. I don't want to burn my paper. I just want to get that wetness from the ink. Just want to get it dried. And that's pretty good. Now I'm going to get a different tissue because I don't want to get my Cajun craze. And I'm going to gently wipe this off. And you can see there were some areas that picked up a little bit more ink. And just gently, really gently buffing it. It took it off. But look at this one. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? I just love it. So here's the two. Let me show them to you side by side. And you can see the glossy look in both of them. So let me take this out of the way and show you the cards. Okay, so for the first card, using the um, photo paper and the Cajun craze with the brick and mortar, this is my card. And to make that card, I used Plentiful Plants this is in our annual catalog. And it, isn't that just pretty? I love the brick look of it. And you can see every time is different. You can see in here I picked up a little bit more ink. And here, not so much. So here's that card. Let's take a look at a second one. Now, this card, I also used photo paper. And I used a retired um embossing folder this is the bouquet of love hybrid embossing folder that i had um, i wanted a valentine's one and that's from last year's mini catalog um, and with this one i used the photo paper i um colored it used the uh, sweet sorbet and then um mounted it with just basic black but look at that and you can see the shine of the porcelain look to that card. Isn't that pretty? I love this technique. And I have one more to show you. This one might be my favorite. This one I use the pearlescent. And this is the one that we just did. I use the pearlescent paper. And I did this with the new Dainty Delight stamp set from the new mini catalog and the Dainty Delight dies. And um, I just love the way this looks. So, so here's our three cards using that porcelain, faux porcelain technique. Um, leave us a comment. Let us know which one you like best. Let me put them side by side. And um, I'm going to switch that camera back for just a minute, and then we'll go back to the cards at the end. So I hope you enjoyed today's technique. I love it. I'm going to be doing it a lot more. It makes such beautiful backgrounds. And again, remember, don't worry about your embossing folders. Simply take them over to the sink, run them under some warm water, 
dry them and they're going to be perfect. So I hope you enjoyed it. Pat will be back with you next week. And I'm not sure what she's doing, but it's always good, whatever she does. And um, if you like today's video, please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share it. And I'll see you again in two weeks. You have a great week, everybody.